All right, guys, so I'll fill you in here in a minute, but I'm heading to our local stat care. Uh, simply, I thought I had a pimple coming in in the last couple of days, and it's just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, now it's to the point where it's actually pushing on my throat and making it hard to breathe and open my jaw. And it's probably about the size of maybe a baseball or golf ball right now. Uh, so I'm going to run in here and see what they say, see if we can maybe uh, just get it taken care of real quick. But I think I'll fill you in with that. I'll let you know more whenever I get here. So Sean was going to join us. I was going to pick him up after his meeting at the property. And uh, he messaged me and he said uh, he has to go to stat care because um, he's, he's got some kind something going on right here, some internal growth. I don't know if it's an abscess or something, but it's very, very painful. It hurts when he talks. So um, uh, I told him, go for it. You know, I can handle this. Um, it is gonna be a shorter day for us, but we'll, we'll knock out what we can. And uh, yeah, hopefully he feels better prayers. It's not too serious. So the front yard didn't grow too much, but I did go ahead and mow it at three and a half. It did knock some of it down, especially up in the front where the trees are, where the shady spots are. They did grow a little better. This area probably gets no coverage at all from the trees and if you look back in here how nice and green it is because it does get some shade that's that's the difference but it still looks good got it nice and striped up we'll see if we could uh, mow it next week hopefully we get some rain quick update for you guys they told me to go to the emergency room which they have like this urgent care one that's uh, a little bit cheaper than going to the big emergency room so I'm gonna go over there I just got a little bit of a drive but they kind of freaked me out because they said it doesn't look like uh, an infection or like an assist or something like that typically because there's no redness there's nothing really In showing a quarter mile turn right onto Wales Road <clears throat> Northeast there's nothing really showing so to them it says there's something growing internally here uh, but they couldn't really say much so they gave me a new place to go to real quick or they told me to go directly to the emergency room because they can't do anything at the local stack care it's just it's further than what they can handle there but it's definitely sore and it definitely hurts so i'll fill you guys in here in just a moment if you notice i'm not opening my mouth real wide it's because if i open it very far it really really starts to hurt all right guys so i just got here 
I'll uh, fill you in. No worries, I'll be good. All right guys, quick update. So the doctor just left. They think it's like uh, an infection. So they're gonna put me on antibiotics, uh, but they said it's still too hard to drain. So they wanna give it a few more days, see if we can treat it with antibiotics. They said it could be a hair in there. It could be all different kinds of things. It could be a pimple, it could be a blackhead, anything internally. They just can't see it and they're like hey you know let's treat it for you know with antibiotics first before we take the next step but uh they said basically anything further from that you know they won't even treat here i need to go to the big hospital so i think they said for a emt or something like that but just thought i'd show you uh share with you guys it had me freaked out there pretty good for a minute so hopefully the uh medication takes care of it and uh, i'll be good to go but i'll tell you what him pushing on it and moving it around and stuff that hurt i mean it's literally like that big all right guys so a few hours later antibiotics down the hatch they go sorry if i made a little mess my mouth doesn't open real wide but it said take them every three or every eight out three every eight hours so so fast forward a couple days from the last video you've seen it's currently sunday happy fourth of july to all of you still dealing with the cyst i did get a little bit of pressure relief so that was nice it was pushing my jaw together pretty much clamping my jaw uh still can't open my mouth fully uh because it hurts and i also noticed we took a walk yesterday i noticed when i'm walking or getting the blood moving or whatever it swells really really big and tight so i haven't been doing a whole lot of uh i guess like exercise or walking or moving or anything uh just kind of been staying stationary or using equipment i did get down to the storage units and got some uh weed killer put down down there the parking lot was just awful uh got another estimate back for that place as well so we're going to be hopefully getting the blacktop done within 90 days down there and uh, that should relieve a lot of uh, the weed issue down there. We'll still have to do some but not as often as what we're having to do right now. Uh, but with that being said, this video is not going to have a whole lot of talking in it but I need to get stuff done here around the house to make things easier for us. Uh, so yeah, unless TQ is going to talk once she's done doing some stuff in the house, uh, probably not going to have me talking very much but we are going to get some work done so let's hop into it. He said, let's give it a try. Stand clear.
Yes, guys, I know I need to get a set of forks. I actually went and looked at some when we first bought the skid loader. This video here is old, hence you can see the 2016 from back then. I believe these brand new ones here were around 1100 or a thousand bucks. Uh, simply, I was just waiting for an auction to come up, and to be honest with you, I just haven't had a chance to get to one to buy a used set. They're always available, but yeah, I definitely agree. I need a set of forks. Yeah, it really did. I mean, this is a good place for it, too, so. Yeah, should have put them back here, but we were uncertain if the season was over at the time or not. Yep, but this is where they'll be till we need them again, and now we have our driveway clear. <laughs> All right, guys, so as I was moving these back here with the skid loader, it kind of dawned on me, and I never really thought about it, and I don't know the answer to it. I know they make box spreaders for the skid loaders, but... We will have the extra 8.2, which I just kept just as a backup for the other truck because we're probably going to go with a different plow setup, a uh, different brand altogether for the new truck. Uh, with that being said, do they make a mount where I can put the Boss 8.2 onto the skid loader? Uh, this is the 753, and it is wheeled. And I will say it doesn't have the best traction, I would say, for probably snow compared to tracks. But you can also put tires on these from what I've seen, like regular vehicle tires, and people say they work better like that. With that being said, I don't even know if, uh, for one, if they make a mount for these to attach to the skid loader, and for two, would this unit even push snow? You know what I'm saying? Because there's no point in buying a mount if the, if the skid loader won't push the snow, which I don't know. I know I can turn my compost pile back there, no problem. I can pick a lot of dirt up, no problem and gravel no problem so i wouldn't assume it'd probably be that big a deal or do you guys think it would just be a waste with the 8.2 should i just maybe go with uh say a box spreader if i do decide to keep it 
because you guys know I do have it up for sale currently right now. Uh, I've had multiple offers on the box, the trailer, whole setup with the uh, the uh, debris loader and all that. I could have already sold it if I wanted to. I've had full offers of 25000 from multiple people. Uh, just simply, I told most of them to give me a little time because I'm kind of on the fence. Do I want to sell it? Do I not want to sell it? And uh, if I do sell it, we'll have something else. Just uh, it, that's that's where it's at right now. Just really, I'm trying to get ready for what's coming. And this skid loader, I don't have to sell it. I'll probably end up keeping it, to be honest with you. Uh, it was bought just to load salt, and that's probably what it will do. If we can get set up for that for this winter, just because so much is going out right now for the property and to get all of what we're doing there set up and going. I know a lot of you have asked about the house as well. We don't have a time frame to build the house as of yet. Uh, to be honest with you, we will probably build the shop first. But uh, yeah, I just don't know. We're going to cross all those roads when we get there. Uh, if you guys don't know, interest rates are going two, 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 up, 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 up. And uh, we already took one little hit on the property, which was kind of a, a drop on the financing people's uh, side of things. It was it was BS, to be honest with you. Not our fault whatsoever. So that kind of got us a little bit. But yeah, I just figured I'd throw that by you. The only reason I'm selling the skid loader is because it's not enclosed. Uh, and I'm assuming you probably don't want to be plowing out in the cold without being enclosed. Even though a lot of people say the heat, a lot of heat comes off the engine area and does keep you okay. I just know if it was me uh, or somebody else working for us, I wouldn't want to be in that exposed to the elements, whether that's freezing rain or whatever. So that's the only reason we're looking at getting uh, a different skid loader. So that's still up for sale. I would consider a trade in cash if you have an enclosed unit as well. Uh, yeah, that's just is what it is. Figure I fill you guys in. Uh, not a lot in this one. I'm going to quit talking. And for some reason, whenever I'm working, I think I already stated in this, uh, like I was doing a bunch of dirt down here around the house down here uh my whole entire jaw swelled back up so can't really do much out here hey bro take it easy on my siding and i'm sure you caught as well tq uh had to go get herself a new grill and i helped her put that together because she caught the other one on fire and almost burned the front porch down so she's uh working on adding another piece of fencing to the chickens and uh yeah that's pretty much our fourth of july weekend Nothing too crazy. We might go see our friends, the noose bombs, and watch some fireworks later once it cools down. But being out in the sun, this thing just starts going, swells back up. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys had a great 4th of July. Uh, yeah, as always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. Talk to you later. TQ up. Peace. Bye.